with Bentley, who was a 10-year-old white female. Bentley is in the fourth grade. I did this case study with her in the general education classroom. Uh, there are about 21 students in her classroom. Uh, Bentley spends most of her day in the general education classroom with, she spends some time with a resource teacher in the resource room. Um, she spends, usually she's in there for math and reading whole group, and then she goes for one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one instruction in the resource room afterwards. Um, Bentley lives with her mom and her sister at home, and they have supervised visits, mostly on the weekends, with her dad in Talladega. Um, Bentley's sister is in fifth grade with her at school. In my interest inventory that I did with Bentley, I found out that Bentley likes to play hide and seek at home. She likes to make bracelets, and she said she enjoys cooking on her cooking set she has at home, even though the food didn't taste that great. And she said that after school, she enjoys doing her homework. She likes to do her math homework and study her math flashcards. Um, and Bentley said she has a puppy and a kitten at home that she enjoys taking care of. Bentley's strengths and weaknesses. Her strengths, I found from observation and talking with her teacher, that Bentley's a really hard worker and that she really tries and that she's been studying at home her math flashcards and she's been taking her math multiplication chart home, trying to get more familiar with that. And she's been trying to practice her long division, which is a difficult concept for even most fourth graders, and Bentley's really been trying. Her weaknesses, Bentley really struggles with reading and language arts. Bentley reads on about a first grade reading level. Um, Bentley is having trouble with phonics and learning to blend and say letter sounds. She is also having difficulty with writing because of that. I've been working one-on-one -on -one with Bentley to try in, in the mornings during intervention to help her with these. We work on sight words and phonics and things like that during intervention so she can be on a fourth grade reading level throughout class. Uh, the teacher interviewed, she obviously expressed concerns in reading, that she also works with Bentley. A reading coach comes in and works with Bentley again. Bentley goes in a small group with the resource teacher. Um, although she did express concerns in reading, she has seen improvement in reading and math. Bentley's really, like I said, been studying at home and really trying. Um, she works on one-on-one -on -one instruction, small group instruction, about three to four times a day. Um, she, like I said, the resource room. She also has a math coach. There's intervention in the mornings. The teacher does have to redirect often. Bentley seems to get off task, and the teacher, she said she does have to redirect. That is something that she's working on with Bentley. And she has concern in Bentley's social skills. Bentley doesn't seem to connect with her peers in the classroom, and we think that, that she thought that was a little bit of room for concern. Okay, so Bentley qualified for special education in the first grade. Bentley receives accommodations in reading and in math. Uh, she does get frustrated and off task when she doesn't understand the concept or topic. Bentley doesn't want to ask for help. She just seems to stare off into space or maybe even doodle if she's at her own desk. That's where the teacher talks about how she has to redirect her often. Um, Bentley does respond best when she is working one-on-one, -on -one, when someone is reassuring her or praising her. Um, Bentley tends to focus on her work more when someone is paying attention. She works best with hands-on manipulatives in math, such as our, we have fraction pieces and fraction bars when we're doing fractions just recently. Um, and Bentley is an overall, overall she's a great student. She, there haven't been any major behavior problems. Bentley did have and a couple altercations with one specific girl in the class. They just seem to not get along very well. And she also, like we said, she just had trouble connecting with her peers in the classroom. These are the three observations that I did on Bentley in different settings. I did one in the resource room, I did one in the cafeteria, and one in the general ed classroom. In the resource room, it was in small group reading with the resource teacher. Um, they did a sight word activity and they did, they did a read aloud. 
With the sight words, Bentley seemed to do really well when the resource teacher told her to slow down, take a deep breath, and then let's read through your words. When Bentley was reading really fast, it was like out of 10 words, Bentley would miss eight. When she stopped and slowed down and looked at the words, she did great. During the, the reading activity they did where Bentley read to the resource teacher, when the resource teacher was paying attention to Bentley, she was reading fine. And then she noticed like if the resource teacher would stop paying so much close attention, Bentley would stop reading or would get really frustrated and say, I don't want to continue to read. In the cafeteria, Bentley sat by her friends. Um, there's a 10 minute silent lunch before lunch begins, before they can talk during lunch. And Bentley, when other students would see her talk, Bentley would kind of do the same and misbehave and talk during that silent lunch time. But other than that, Bentley did fine. She just seemed to behave well at lunch. And then in the gen ed classroom, during whole group reading, uh, the teacher had to redirect her often. Bentley wasn't working one-on-one -on -one with the teacher. It was more of like the teacher was reading to the group as a class. Bentley would get distracted. Bentley would maybe be even confused and would just stare off into space or talk to her neighbor when it was inappropriate. This is the sociogram activity that I did with Bentley. I gave her this blank sociogram map. This is her completed. She drew a line with a blue crayon to three of her friends, which were Sierra, Jameson, and Olivia. Then she drew a line with a red crayon to three people that she would like to be friends with. And she chose Talisia, Madison, and Lily. And then she drew a line with an orange crayon to three people you would, she would like to sit with at lunch. And she chose Sierra, Olivia, and Lily. Then she drew a line with a black crayon to three people that she thought were smart, and she chose Talicia, Hayden Lee, and Lily. Mm -hmm. After the sociogram, I immediately asked the following socio immediately following sociogram, I asked the following questions. I asked her if she had multiple lines going to the same people, and she said that she did. I did not ask her what she thought that meant. She said that she thinks she likes to hang out with her friends. Um, we looked at the names that didn't have any lines, and we thought we asked why don't you interact with these people? She said, we aren't friends. Um, then we talked about people you don't, like, you don't play with, but you would like to get to know better. And I told her to, why don't you try next week to really try and interact with these people? She circled Lily, Larissa, and Ashlyn to work on for the next week to try and spend more time with these people. After that week, I asked her if I if she felt like it was difficult to try and hang out with new people. And she said that it was. She said that some of the people like Talicia had pace and they weren't there often, or she didn't sit by these people. And she found she did hang out with Ashlyn during this time because Ashlyn moved to her table and it was easy to talk to Ashlyn and to find things in common. Effective interventions that work with Bentley are definitely one-on-one -on -one instruction with the teacher or the special ed teacher. Um, work and tests given individually. When Bentley is at her desk or table with a group of people and she's working, she seems to get off task and not pay attention to the task at hand. Um, Bentley's test read aloud and answer choices eliminated is something that an accommodation that's made for Bentley in, in the classroom. Her test being read aloud is a modification due to her reading level being so low. These, these interventions definitely help Bentley succeed in the classroom. What I learned from Bentley this semester, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about Bentley, and I learned about struggling students in school period. I learned that Bentley wouldn't quit working because, Bentley would quit working because she was confused or she didn't understand. And it just took a little bit of redirection or encouragement and to tell her that, you know, you are doing the right thing. You're doing it right. Just We just need to keep going. And that only took a couple minutes of my time. And I learned that it helped her so much to keep going and work through it. I learned that a lot of times that students, we don't realize that they don't have a support system. And that as teachers, that we do need to be their support system. I learned through Bentley. I was reassured as to how fulfilling this career can be when you are able to help students and how proud they become. I saw, I saw this in Bentley this semester, and I'm truly thankful for this.